of Ballad and Bruce. Uh, okay, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Aaron, and welcome. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. I don't know if I want to wish for Sino. <laughs> I'll be doing this on my own. <laughs> Let's continue the story. Starting doing the Archon quests yesterday. Nahida is now trapped on her little bubble. I don't know where it even is, but you know, she's trapped there. So we can't really count on her anymore. We have temporarily lost Nahida's help, but according to the message she left behind, you will meet someone in the desert who can help you get out of the woods. To foil the nefarious plot between the Academia and the Fatui, you set off on another journey, right? Because we saw that the mastermind behind the experiment has been Dotori. The, the doctor from the Fatui Harbinger. So let us go tell Casino. Yeah, and hopefully continue the stories. Let's see where this takes us. So, oh, we also met Although Candace. I've set myself into exile. And I'm the chief, I guess, from this area. The same things as before. Do you still have any right, because you're not the general anymore. Investigation? Why do they refer to the mad scholars as village One keepers? One of my former subordinates told me that this title has its origins in a strange incident. I mean, it does sound like a strange incident. The Academia has long exiled mad scholars to Aru village. A mysterious phenomenon exists here. Huh. When mad scholars first arrive, they are as incoherent and deranged as before. But after spending some time here, hmm. they invariably begin to calm down. Invariably. Initially. The people of Aru village greatly resented having to take in the mad scholars, but a strange incident one night changed that. Wait, do people use... No, because it's only in the city, right? Where people used... Um, what is it called? <laughs> the Akasha, right? Aru village was struck by the strongest earthquake huh. in living memory. Seeing Ooh. buildings on the verge of collapse all around him, the then chief of the village was preparing to take everyone to safety. Suddenly... Okay. He noticed a mad scholar crouching in a corner, caressing the ground with his hands. A soft, green light radiated from him, like a Whoa. divine glow against the backdrop of night. Despite the powerful tremors that ripped through the ground that night, all the houses remained upright, huh. almost as if they had grown roots reaching deep into the ground. In the end, What's that? not a single building collapsed. And no one was hurt. Is that the first six star? <laughs> After that, the people of Aru that Village scholar? treated the mad scholars with greater kindness hmm. and began to refer to them ah, as the village keepers. There you go. Soft green light? A mad scholar protecting what? Aru Village? Hmm. What do you make of it, Traveler? It must have been Nahida's power. I think I agree. I would think so too. Actually, Sino. Do you know if any of the mad mm -hmm. scholars continued to wear their Akasha terminals at Aru Village? Oh. In theory, they would continue wearing them so the academia could still monitor their activities. Okay, general people that don't, said, but the scholars do. The main Akasha system would no longer have any interaction with them. Right. Oh, no but wonder. Nahira could, right? Everything makes sense then. Add in the fact that they calmed down, it was yep. probably Nahida who calmed them. Okay, so Nahida was actually putting in the work because we were thinking before that she was just dormant most of the time, you know. <laughs> but now she. If you are able wow. to draw a conclusion from this one story alone, then it appears you possess much more information yep. than I do. <laughs> we kind of do, yeah. So, We've been through a lot. What do you make of the story? The Mad Scholar's power likely came from Les Lorcus Nali. Les Lorcus Nali was actually the one who protected the village. Uh, yeah, I mean the power came from Kusanali. Yeah. Les Lord Kusanali. Believe so. What? You don't believe us? <laughs> Lesser Lord Kusanali was definitely using the Akasha to give her power to the Mad Scholars. It will make sense. No, it's not so much that I don't believe you. Hmm. I'm just struck by your reasoning. Lesser Lord Kusanali, so. the current Dendro Archon. Is she really active in Sumeru? Better believe it. The Academia has always placed far greater importance on the late Greater Lord Rukadevata. Yeah. They've more or less ignored Lesser Lord Kusanali. <laughs> more than and less. I've never had any reason to doubt their views. In addition, mm. I've never heard any stories about Lesser Lord Kusanali and her deeds. To me, she might as well have been a god that never existed. No way! Nahida definitely exists! She's well, a... yeah. <laughs> How should Paimon put Obviously. It? She's a good Archon who's kind and wise. Even if she says weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> she also saved me once not long, not long ago. Uh, this feels a lot more personal, so let's I've spent go many with it. years interrogating criminals. 
so I can easily tell when someone is lying. Good. Okay. Then you should know that we're telling the truth. <laughs> exactly. That look in your eyes. I've never seen that from a liar. <laughs> there you go. You two really must have met Lesser Lord Kusanali. Thanks, Detective. How can this be? To think. Our Archon has been amongst us this entire time. <laughs> All right, Zach. Wait, no, Zach. Uh, you really you really made an effort there, but nope, sorry. <laughs> Still said it. All right, now it's our turn to put our skills to good use for this investigation. You betcha. Easier said than done, especially since we don't have any leads. Hmm. Maybe we can start by knocking on some doors. Excuse me. Maybe. Are you here to help me find my grandpa? Huh? Well, maybe you? we are, because we've taken a lot of side quests from here. By the sounds of it, a resident of this village. Yeah. My name is Isa. How long have you been here? You'll help me find my grandpa, right? Is your grandpa a scholar? Hey, don't say that. Grandpa is just grandpa. Why yeah. do you have to Wait, call him that? It's not like he's a bad person or anything. Yeah, what would you say just village keeper? <laughs> the person you're referring to is not a local. Yet you are. Mm -hmm. Why do you call him Grandpa? Grandpa is just Grandpa. He's my family. I, I heard everything mm -hmm. you said to the village chief. Please, you gotta take me with you. I, I want to find my Grandpa. I, I swear I'll help. I won't be a nuisance. Ah, works for so me. You're the one who was eavesdropping on us around the village chief's house. I was planning to go out and oh, take care of whoever was? it was, but I had a vague feeling that they didn't harbor any ill intent. Yep, seemed to be the case. Whoa, well, Hazen wasn't kidding about Matra having sharp senses. <laughs> Good I point. Know. He's just a kid. All he wants is to find his grandpa. Let's yeah. find a way to help him. Sorry. I was only listening in because I wanted to know where Grandpa went. Honest. Mm. If you don't believe me, you can ask Miss Candice. We could ask. Well, yeah, let's help him. All right. This feels like a side but quest, first, but sure. Let's confirm the facts with Candice. There we go. That works for me too. The four at loggerheads. Is this loggerheads? What is, what is loggerheads? I wonder where they're making that scaramouche mech. Hey yo. You approach the village ship's house. Say no ask. Isaac. Isaac. Is this hmm. what all the Matra are like? Ah, Hi, Candace. You're back already. Yep. We just wanted to confirm something with you. Do you know a boy by the name of Isak? <laughs> Isak, okay. I had a feeling he'd go looking for you. Huh? Hmm. You knew this would happen? Yes. Although he tried his best to stay hidden, I still <laughs> noticed him eavesdropping outside the window. Seems like everyone noticed him. He really wants to get his grandfather back. <laughs> Isak's parents were both Aramite mercenaries who rarely returned to the village after finding employment in the city. Mm. He was raised by his grandfather. Unfortunately, it was only a few years before his grandpa passed away. Isak was still uh -huh. very young at the time. So various families in the village took turns caring for him so he could survive. Later. Yep, so right. An Sorry. elderly mad scholar arrived at the village. Isak thought the scholar bore a striking resemblance to his grandfather, mm. and thus often spied on the man. However, the scholar was unkempt in appearance and incoherent in speech. Mm. Although Isak referred to the man as his grandpa, he was afraid and didn't dare to approach him. One summer night, the oft mumbling and bumbling grandpa suddenly <laughs> calmed down and seemed to become more lucid. There we go. He even noticed Isak hiding in the distance. So Grandpa walked up to Isak and patted him on the head. He even took Isak mm. to the entrance of the village, where he patiently taught the boy the names of the stars and accompanied uh, Isak until he fell asleep. Oh, that's sweet. So they still have, obviously, I mean, yeah, they will still have their knowledge. That makes sense. The next morning, Isak woke up and wanted to go find his grandpa again, mm. only to realize his grandpa no longer recognized him. Oh. However, even so, Grandpa retained his calm expression. Oh, could that have been Nahida? It said that those who saw the scholar claimed sense. he no longer appeared to be crazy, but appeared to be living in his own world, almost as mm. if he were sleepwalking. Isak was thrilled that his Grandpa was able to find peace and would follow him all the time, asking him things like, Grandpa, 
want me to take you somewhere fun, or... Mm -hmm. Grandpa, could you tell me stories about the stars again? All this somehow just makes Paimon feel really sad. It seems like they <laughs> both deserve so much better. Perhaps. Yeah. Nearly everyone who lives in the desert has some form of hardship or regret. But even so, we must still continue on with our lives. It's also my reason mm -hmm. for fighting. I must continue to protect this land. Let's go, Candace. A <laughs> lucid grandpa was probably in a hit. She must have suited the other mad scholars as well. Yeah, from the look on Zeno's face, he probably connected the dots as well. Maybe there you go. People have always had a considerate god watching over them. Yeah. Huh? What did you say, Zeno? No, nothing. What am I to say, as right? Saw keeps his word and doesn't get in our way. We can take him along. Okay. Perhaps you are more compassionate than I gave you credit for. Hmm. Please accept my thanks on Isak's behalf, Sino. Sino. Hey, Isak. Oh, it's you guys. We've cleared everything Yo. up. Let's go find your grandpa. Really? Wow. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. Your grandpa will be found safe and sound. Yeah. They hope so. All right. Let's ask the local residents some questions first. Sure. Dreams, emptiness, deception. Whoa, okay. Okay, act three. Oh no, act, act four is this new one, right? Act four, okay, we passed chapter, act three and now we're in act four, I think. I guess we can just continue and see what progresses. Hi, Kazan. Excuse me, did you happen to see where the missing scholars went? You mean the village keepers? Oh, let me think. When I was think eating through? dinner the other day, I saw one of them by the side of the road. Muttering away and eating mushrooms and tree roots. What? They shouldn't go around eating that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, okay. Um, did you <laughs> notice anything else? Anything else? Hmm. No, I think that's all no. I have to tell you. Sorry. That was kind of sus, the way he just walked away. <laughs> Weird. Okay, let's keep asking. The scholars that have gone missing. Have you seen them? Hmm. <gasps> Those eyes, those fierce eyes. You, you look like a real fighter. It looks pretty cool, right? Don't change the subject. <laughs> right. You were asking about the, vi I mean, the mad scholars. I think it's mm. been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm okay. not too familiar with what goes on at night. But honestly, I feel there, quite sympathetic I guess. towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it mm. weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. Do you also think Grandpa and the others are good people? Grandpa? Oh, hello there. It's little Isak. Mm. You mean that nice man who looks like your grandpa's long-lost twin, right? <laughs> he was actually the one who protected my house. I saw it with oh, my wow, own so eyes. multiple of them do it? He happened to be standing or all of them my do house it. that day and was doing something with his hands on the ground. It still oh. feels pretty surreal now that I think back on it. Did someone teach yep. them how to do that? Seems so. Well, whatever the case, I'll always be thankful to him and whoever taught him to look out for others. I'm pretty sure that if I ever went mad, I <laughs> wouldn't be able to do anything. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's kind of sweet, though, seeing the people of the village support the, these people. <laughs> these poor people. They could even just destroy their lives. Jabari, hello. Nice uh, beard. Sir, have you seen my grandpa recently? You know, the one who likes to sit and space out near the village mm. entrance. Oh, well, if it isn't Isak. Oh, your grandpa, huh? Hmm, hmm, it's been a while. The last time I saw him, he was spacing out by the road as usual. I went and asked him if he'd like any okay. of the food I had prepared, despite my wife's protests. Like many people, uh. she's really quite terrified of them. Well, yeah, makes sense that some people will still be. Okay, so near the road, we are. We, we've heard Speaking two people say wife, that. She's still always complaining about how <laughs> I don't make enough mora. That might explain why she's always mad at me. Okay, dude. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, but. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you for taking care of him. Right. <laughs> it was nothing. Hey, you're looking for him, right? Did he go for a walk and get lost? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, that's no good. Well, mm. once you found him, come by my place again and I'll cook a little something for the both of you. I've known you since nice. you were very young. So as far as I'm concerned, you're family. Please feel free to come mm. by any time. Wow. 
Well, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Huh? What? What's wrong, Sino? Don't say anything for now. You keep pick up on something. Mm. Isak. What? Stay here. Let's head over there. Stay quiet as you move. What? We're going stealth mode now? Oh. Listen. See if you can make out what they're saying. Have you heard? Mm. The mighty Scarlet King, the sovereign of our <laughs> faith, will soon return to this world. Yes, of course oh. I have. The Scarlet <laughs> King is the one and only true ruler of this land. I've never believed in any other gods. Still, you say he's coming back, but it sure doesn't feel like life's about to change around here anytime soon. <laughs> What's your proof? I love this guy's voice. <laughs> What's your proof? Huh. Huh. Haven't you noticed? The village has been getting more deranged scholars than ever. Delavar was saying that many mm. people also went insane just before the fall of the Scarlet King civilization in ancient times. I don't think there's a correlation. I don't quite know why, but it seems like there's some sort of connection between insanity and the Scarlet King. Okay, Isn't it dude. a sign of the Scarlet King's power that all the mad scholars have disappeared? Mm. If you ask me, they must have been chosen as the final sacrifice for the Scarlet King's resurrection. Huh. Now that you say it, that does make some sense. <laughs> does this mean our lives are finally going to take a turn for the better? I love this guy's voice. <laughs> exactly. Those city <laughs> so folks will get what's mean? coming to them. Oh. Now, repeat everything you've just said from the very beginning. Yep. Let me write this down for the report. Hi. Who are you? Uh, where did you come from? Wouldn't you like to know? My patience is running thin. Whoa. You heard what I asked. Whoa! Yeah, his ulti is really cool. I think that's his ulti, right? His burst. Yeah, uh, bro, this guy's something <laughs> else. Just look at his eyes. One wrong move, and he's gonna flay us alive. Probably. Let's not get on his bad side, okay? I am no match for this guy. <laughs> oh, okay, good sir. W what is it you would like to know? Tell me about the Scarlet King's resurrection. Let's go. Well, I I only know a few things from hearsay. I went for a drink the other day <laughs> and heard others talking about a rumor that the madmen will disappear and that the Scarlet King will return to this land. Hmm. I'm not making this up. I swear. Sounds sus, but didn't the academia come up with those rumors? Originally, at least. Maybe the misinformation has been going through other people's hey, mouths, I guess. Go on. Keep talking. It's yep. true. It's all true, sir. We desert folk have had more than enough of those people at the academia. They keep sending us all their mad scholars and won't let us have a good life. Would you want to live like this if you were in our place? The radicals mm. were even more thrilled than me when they heard the news. We're all praying for the Scarlet King's speedy return. Delavar also said okay. that once the Scarlet King returns to our side, it's only a matter of time before we conquer the land on the other side of the wall. They're all willing mm. to serve under the Scarlet King and fight for a share of the glory. Is that so? Oh boy. Uh, seems like he still wants to know more. Keep talking. Uh, <laughs> got it. I, uh, are at there first, coconuts? I told myself it was just the drink oh. talking, but then all the mad scholars vanished <laughs> without a trace, just as the rumors said. Oh, wait, what? Please don't beat me up just for mentioning these rumors. Is that why they were if looking? I'm guilty, oh. then everyone else around here is also guilty. Hmm. I'm just saying what the others said. The people here really like the Scarlet King, but dislike the Dendro Archon. Uh, the Academia is probably the true target. Yeah, I don't think they care for the Dendro Archon, but I think the Academia Where is the one that they dislike the most. radical person you talked about? I yep. haven't run into him over the past few days, so he probably mm -hmm. hasn't been around the village. What about you, man? Have you seen <laughs> him at all? You seen him, man? Uh, no, uh, not at all. <laughs> we wouldn't dare lie to you. He's really not here oh. right now. Okay. Sounds sure. like you're not too close with the radicals. Uh, no, uh, of course not. <laughs> All we know are their names. I have many sure. ways to stop you from talking. No. And many others to stop you from sending warning messages. So you'd best just stay okay. home and hope I don't hear of you trying to contact anybody. Right. Don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. Try something foolish. And even Candace won't be able to protect you. You okay, Sino? Yes, yes, got it. We'll do just as you say. Dang. <sighs> that scared Paimon half to death. <laughs> Sino 
that was pretty terrifying. G good thing I'm not a one of your enemies. That's true. He didn't try to reassure us at all. <laughs> it's like he's used to hearing that. Oh, Paimon bets lots of people have told him that before. All the more reason for you not to get on his I bad side. That. Well, <laughs> am I wrong though? Sorry. It's part of being a matra. The rumor we heard just now seems like a strong lead. Hmm. But we need to check a few more places. Okay, maybe the scholar's homes, or maybe we'll find something there. Oh yeah, I mean the scholar's homes. Very well. Yeah. Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Uh, I'm here. Where's your grandpa's house? Well, I can take you there. Just follow <laughs> me. <laughs> so get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, gamer. Come on. Come on. I've surpassed you, dude. Come on. Go. Go. Grandpa, oh, he likes to be alone. <laughs> sometimes he stares at the sky oh, in a daze. I didn't realize the footprints. Other times he just pokes at the ground oh, with his Sometimes fingers. they form, sometimes they don't. Every now and then, he yells out at the top of his lungs, so a lot of people are really scared of him. But mm -hmm. he's a good person, really. I know he is. I swear, he, he's just like my real grandpa. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Well, this, this is pretty is far out. Usually stays. There sure isn't much uh, here. Okay. What's that smell? Sino, did you catch a faint whiff of incense? 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 Oh, uh, crap. Please don't say it's the same one as before. It's, it's definitely that but one. Are you okay? Oh, no. Are you getting dizzy or need to lie down? There's a scent that I'm you good. can sense, but I can't. A certain traveler here uh. once passed out from that smell. Thankfully, Come on, Come on Paimon. And then he gave us a long lecture to explain all about how it worked. Yeah. So, you know Tainari. Yeah. Huh? You know him too? Are you two friends? Yes. <laughs> so innocent. Are you two friends? Mm. Oh, they are friends. Nice. Now that I concentrate. <laughs> all right, Paimon. I can also make up the scent of incense. Wait, yeah. surely Tainari didn't lecture you too. <laughs> no. No need. Can handle the scent very Did well. Did you first encounter this scent at Tainari's house? No, it was, yep, in the forest where a scholar was meditating. In the forest. From a scholar. I know, yeah. It'd be more efficient that we split up. Maybe. I mean, depends on what we'll encounter. If, it's, if there's any danger, we should stick together, but. Okay. Look for clues nearby. Do we use Solimental Site? Serve Cave? Impossible to kind Oh, it's impossible to climb from here? Really? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess just, yeah, climb out. Oh, there's a... It's a Dendroculus. Oh, there's a gust of wind. What the <laughs> frick? Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. There we go. Got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, I'm dead. I'm... <laughs> What's up, Sino? Uh, well, I was trying to heal. Well, okay. Hmm. So, what's up? What you find? <laughs> we were just standing there. Ah, oh, yes, the floor is made out of floor. What are you looking for, Sino? Here it is. Take a look right here. What is that? Uh, Paimon doesn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, same here. Although the what? traces have been completely buried in the sand, there ah. are footprints here from the size and shape. They belong to an adult male. Okay. This pattern is a common one from this area. Local shoes. Mm. This was probably someone from the village. So not a scholar. The scent is quite right? faint, but still extant. Mm. The footprints head in the direction of the door. Extant? You mean someone else has been here? But who would come looking for Grandpa? He doesn't have any friends. <laughs> We'd have to ask whoever lured him away with the incense. Oh, that's what happened? Huh? So you can lure someone away with just a scent? Fall for that kind of thing all the time. You can lure away by food all the hey, time, Paimon. What's wrong with liking good food? Everyone Nothing. Says something they love in life. No, I agree. I just I'm just saying. <laughs> Am exactly. I wrong? Exactly. Most scholars are fond of incense. Mm. Since the smell supposedly helps them clear their minds and discover new knowledge. Okay. Even deep within the clutches of madness, they still yearn for their knowledge seeking days. And will follow that makes the scent whenever yeah. it presents itself. That, that's kind of what I was figuring. Oh, no, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. So someone's taking advantage of their weakness? Yeah, huh. I guess so. Still, why would anyone want to abduct all the scholars? I don't know. Does it, does it have to do with resurrecting the Are king? Are the rumors really true? 
That's the only loop we have so far. Yeah. Of all the mad scholars have something to do with the radicals? It's highly likely. Um, or the academia. I don't know. I mean, the, isn't, the instance sounds like something the academia will Please, use. You have to save my grandpa. Grandpa's hmm. never done anything wrong. Uh. Please help him. Sounds like we'd better help get him back. Don't yeah. you worry, Isak. We won't let whoever took him get away with it. Let's head to Aru Village and inform Candace and the others about what we learned here. Yep, I agree. After that, we'll set off to find the scholars. Yep, that makes sense. Got reported oh, it all. Let me get some healing, though. <laughs> first, missing village keepers. So, oh. Right. Okay. The darker fabric definitely looks a lot better. What? That'd be my choice too. For what? <laughs> Ah, yeah. welcome back. Hey, -o. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Oh, Dia's here. We're in the process of it. You bet. So, everything <laughs> goes smoothly? Reasonably. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, Ethan didn't go with you? We haven't seen him at all. Ever since the last episode. Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier and figured he was investigating with you. Nope. I guess he must have gone off on his own. Did you find out yep. anything useful? Little Candace and Dea, everything you've learned. I yep. see. So someone used a kind of incense to lead the exiled scholars away from the village. The resurrection of the Scarlet mm. King? Sus. First I oh. heard of it. Far as I know, the kind oh. of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. Mm. No seller would be able to make a profit here. Yeah, I mean, Baramite's... Grammites do go to the academia, right? They sometimes they get hired by them, so wouldn't be Not to crazy mention, that they would acquire it. Is a labor intensive process. You won't see anybody yeah. in the desert with the patience to make or sell something that requires that kind of effort. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I think they there wouldn't be resources to make it, it, right? Someone from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. I guess, depending on how we make it. Makes sense. So what should we do then? <laughs> Do we go back to the academia and search for leads there? Yeah, nice hiding, dude, back there. <laughs> Very good eavesdropping. I mean, they other, haven't yeah, noticed that them, would so be your next logical not step. too bad. But today, you've got me on hmm. your team, so you get an extra tip. Didn't you say okay. that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I hmm. also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or two about these radicals he mentioned. Okay. If Kaima remembers correctly, the leader of the radicals is some guy called Delavar. Delavar. Ah, yeah. Delamain? Delavar, the scar-riddled bandit, Enger, the wide-eyed butcher, and Jabari, the ducktail bearded crook. The whole what? lot of them are known around these parts. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've heard these names somewhere before. These have I? These guys have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher <laughs> life gets, okay. the more they want to believe in the Scarlet King. The way they see mm. it, the Scarlet King's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the Academia. That makes sense. What is Throwing that guy doing? Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Mm. Anyway, that's my guess why they've chosen to become radicals. Okay. Yeah, you're amazing! You really know this place inside and out! She's got some good info, yeah? She gonna notice them finally? They is winking at me. Maybe she will stay quiet for now. What? Why? What? What? <laughs> no Merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable investment. Let's head out. Now hold on. Okay. You're staying right here, Sino. <laughs> hold on, just a sec. Why? Aru Village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive mm -hmm. on making connections out here. T compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. But that also makes it a whole lot easier for me to gain the locals' trust. Is that so? Yeah, I, I don't understand what's happening either. <laughs> I need to go around we're on the same, some same page, Traveler. But it'll be difficult if you're with me. Fine. Good. Then we've got a plan. Interesting logic. The Traveler okay. and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the Mad Scholars have been taken. Sino, hmm. you'll have to stay in the village and continue investigating on your own. All right, sounds like a plan. That sounds all right to me. Why haven't we noticed that? Did she finally notice them? Like what? <laughs> go to Caravan Rebot. Okay. What was that all about? Oh. Shup. Sure are, yep. Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Mm-hmm. 
Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's really Almost cool. Unreal. Did the previous Arkham make I it? Know what you mean. Or help make it? I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Also, why is this so high cool. wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose. Keeping oh. out people like us. But who made it then? Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used and discarded at their whim. That's pretty yikes. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all mm. their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia See, that's what I'm saying. were underserving. The whole relying on knowledge by the Akasha is so annoying. Geniuses like Satari are... Yeah, the academia is the one who decides. The other children never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate. Even though the mm. academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. That's that is probably one of the most terrible things that I've seen in this, in this, uh, in all of these nations in Tevat. I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. Hey, let's do it. Let's begin right now. Understand how she feels, but I hope she doesn't do anything drastic hey, here. Dia, uh, you're not mm. thinking about doing anything scary, are you? Uh, no, not at all. This place just yeah. gets me thinking. That's all. Very fair. And besides, we're here to procure what? information, aren't we? Yep, we gotta catch those. Shh. What? Caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful well, yeah. what you say. Shouldn't talk about our mission here. Find out what we're here for. Our yeah. mission started the moment. Even though you just talked about tearing down the wall, but you know. <laughs> Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. Ooh. Okay. As they as acquainting, acquaint, acquaint, ask they as acquaintances, right? For clues. Why was I struggling so much with that word? <laughs> Just our luck. None of them are here today. Yeah, well, great. You mean, you don't see anyone you know? Dia, is that you? Uh. <laughs> what a coincidence. So us? Are you here for a drink, too? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally, oh. a friendly face. Never mind. Oh, and who do you have with you here? Guests from another land? You could say that. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. I'm Zaki. Dia's, uh, how would you put it? Drinking buddy? <laughs> cool. <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. You could say we go back a ways. Anyway, nice. as far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely hmm. see any outlander so friendly and respectful nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. So, Dia, are you looking for someone? Yeah. Have you seen Enger, Delavar, or Jabari recently? Of course I have. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. we were all here drinking together just a few days ago. Thanks. I got a spice okay. trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. Know where mm -hmm. I could find him? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet these days. So, you came mm -hmm. here to help him out? Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Y'all at Caravan Rebot are like family. <laughs> if there's more to be made... Why not do it together? Besides, she almost became Shinian for a second there. Muscle. They'd be a good fit for escorting the goods. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Delavar's my friend too, so of course I can take you to him. Come with me. Okay. Which is the place Zaki mentioned. What is this even made out of? I thought it was some type of wood. Or is it supposed to be rocks? I don't know. It looks like some type of like giant tree or something. Maybe it's just rocks. I don't know. I like how I was just floating in the middle of the air. Are we there yet? Yep. This is the place. This place is cool. practically deserted. Yeah, what this is a weird area. Like this? Is this an ambush? What is going on? <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Go on. A wild stab in the dark. <laughs> You're like lambs to the slaughter. Really? You think so? Uh, We'll be fine. Come on. What's this they all want? about, Zaki? Come on, Dia. You really think we didn't hear about what you said back in Aru Village? The boys have kept a close <laughs> eye on you from the moment you set foot there. The boys? Not only do I know that you're looking for Delavar, 
I also know that you've teamed up with people from the academia to look for the missing scholars. No, they're not longer in the academia. So you've been watching us from the very beginning? But even though, hey, that isn't really part of the academia. Leaving Sino behind was a mistake. <laughs> and you left the strongest one in the village, didn't you? There had to be a reason, you right? Are. You really thought we'd fall for your little business deal nonsense? <laughs> Come on. So you and Delavar have been partners all along. <laughs> Dia, I guess it's only natural for a traveling mercenary like you to be out of the loop. Those of us who hang around the tavern have stronger bonds than you think. Oh, I guess that was the point of the people who were eavesdropping on us. Okay. But you got one thing right. We're all looking forward to an uprising in Sumeru. There's Dang. nothing more we'd like to see than the desert folk overthrowing the academia. Honestly, it might be for the best. Academia sucks. I don't know how much worse. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say I don't know how much worse these guys can be, but I don't know if they're much better either. Actually. In case, then I'm sure Delavar wouldn't miss a second of it. I'll be honest with you. If it weren't oh. for what you said in the village, your little monologue about the Wall of Samuel would have convinced me that you're one of us. Delavar, and Enger, you're here too, huh? Hmm. Long time no see, Miss Mercenary. You should have known the traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. Are, are you okay, dude? Have you been drinking or something? Dia, I thought that you, a fellow desert dweller, would understand that the Scarlet King is greater than the Dendro Archon. Little did I know, you don't deserve to join us. Well, damn. <laughs> yeah, gee, what a missed opportunity. <laughs> Adopting radical views and kidnapping innocent scholars, right. all because of some baseless rumors. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing out on? Probably made up by the academia themselves, See? which is funny. There you have it. Mercenaries are just a bunch of faithless scum with only one thing on their minds. Mora. Pathetic. You're not wrong. Mercenaries are driven by Mora, and my faith lies with whoever's paying me. As long as there's a profit <laughs> to be made, anyone can become my friend. Enough talking. Get him. Yeah. All right, let's go, dudes. Throw down. <laughs> just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, traveler. Let's go. I like how she's just standing there, all cool. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe that you're following orders. Oh, from downtown. All right. Got him. Yeah, these guys are getting smoked. Get a little bit of health. Thank you. That's it, really? <laughs> okay. Impossible. Yeah, how could you? We're just built different, guys. So, what do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? How did you say it? It's only natural for a traveling mercenary like me to be out of the loop. Right. It seems kind of comfy. <laughs> it's just taking a nap back there. I'm guessing your informant told you that I'm just an incompetent <laughs> merc with no real fighting skills. Ah. Uh... Right? I mean, that is what I said after all. Nice. And of course, you would believe everything he reported. The only thing you know nice. about me is that I'm a mercenary, but you've never seen me in action. Gotcha. That's why we were like, but yeah, you, you are actually good. <laughs> I guess that's what the traveler was going to say. Even though you heard we went to handle monsters together, you mm. believed that Candace was the only one doing all the real fight. That so-called flame main is just a fraud. She admitted it herself. She just uses her connections uh, to gain the trust of others. Wow, what a goat. That's what you thought, right? Let's go, dear. Uh, you lied in the village because you figured that we'd have people watching you. Yep. And you were stupid enough to fall for it. <laughs> Honestly. I figured as much the first time we drank together. Huh. <laughs> you all thought you were so smart. Pathetic. Nice. <laughs> One swift kick, they and no okay. sack your unconscious. That should be all of them. Let's go. Whoa. So you've been no task can be done without nice. preparation. I just happened to hmm. notice a couple suspicious looking people while you were out investigating. Oh. oh, but instead of catching them right away, you let them report back. Those two who were snooping around very smart. just a couple small fries. If we want to get hmm. the real catch, we have to be patient and give it some time. Exactly. So those names you mentioned. Oh, you mean the funny names she mentioned back in Uncle Ampu's house? The wide-eyed butcher... Whoa. Scarbrittle Bandit. Uh, <laughs> um, Paimon can't remember them all. Yeah, what was that all about? That's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Delaware like to talk themselves up when they're drinking. 
Enger the wide-eyed butcher and Delavar the scar-riddled bandit are the nicknames they came up with for themselves. Alcohol wow. has a way of making people share what they really think. So Enger and Delavar are always rambling in the tavern about how the Scarlet King is a superior deity. Yeah, so it was drinking talk. Wait, so what was the point of this? Just confirming that, or...? Zaki? He's just a numbskull True. who fell right into our trap. Zaki <laughs> was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to find Delavar first, and then try to track him down. Hmm. Yeah, what about the duck-tailed beard that crook? That's what you wanted to ask when we were at Uncle Anpu's house, right? Jabari hmm. is one of the villagers you talk to. You know, the one who wanted to treat Isak and his grandpa to some food. Oh, yeah. Wait, so he's a radical too? What? No, he isn't. I just needed to tack oh. on a random villager name to make the <laughs> eavesdropper think that I was making some wild guesses based on my impressions. Got it. Probably been one of the smartest characters so far. Dia, do you dislike the Dendro Archon like the other desert folk? <laughs> you two are pretty sharp. No, mm. I don't have anything against the Dendro Archon. Yeah, I believe that. I've heard a lot of nice things about the lesser lord from Dunyarzad. I can understand her devotion there we go. and gratitude. Right, Dunyarzad. It's obviously that connection. Dunyarzad's just an ordinary person. Be more understanding, There's more no open-minded. no god would be so involved in the lives of everyday people. Unless they were truly mm. compassionate. I've yep. begun to realize that the sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The radicals' blind belief in the Scarlet King, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. It's all the epidemious trickery. Of course. But I see through it all. And unlike them, I can never be hostile towards anyone who's never done anything wrong. Dia. Nice. Anyway, looks like we're done with business here. Traveler, Guess lend so. me a hand. Let's tie him up and bring him to the village. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. Let's go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we just trapped them there. Should be all of them. <laughs> I'll let you take it from here. All right. Nice. I'll be in touch. Until then, please stand by. Candice, Everything? do you need any help? Candice will be okay on her own. I trust her, so you can too. She's been guarding hmm. Aru Village for quite some time now. If anyone is qualified to question the offenders, it's her. Yep, I believe that. While I'm questioning them, why don't you pass some time by exploring the area? I'll meet you back here sure. tomorrow morning, traveler. Sounds good. As yep. for these idiots, let's just hope they live to see another day. Dang. <laughs> hey, Dia. Hey. Right on time. Did we learn anything from the criminals? <laughs> we'll know any moment now. What's up, Sino? <laughs> it's pretty early too. Was just chilling on the corner. Yes. Well, I was here yesterday side. to help out a little, sharing some interrogation techniques. Ooh. Oh, nice. Um, you mean you taught Candace some more persuasive methods? Right. Cool. Come on in, everyone. Let's go. So is this just like the Wild West? Like we can just arrest people? <laughs> Hi. Candace, <we're>... Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Do I? Huh. What gave it away? Oh, there's no well, that expression. Had true bloodlust. Cover up your eyes, and it'll still show itself at the corners of your mouth. Perhaps I need to work on my composure. Still, <laughs> it's perfectly understandable why I'm angry. Perhaps. I'm sure everyone present would agree. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, don't beat us anymore. We're gonna die. Well, <laughs> looks like Sino taught her well. <laughs> she must have read real quickly, too, yeah. You fear death yourselves, yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. Mm. The absurdity is mind-boggling. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community, and some even count them as family. You Man, come Candace. here to my village, and you treat my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. Damn. Tell me, what would you do to you in my position? That's pretty cool. Uh, mercy! Please have mercy! You've made your bed. <laughs> we may both be desert. What? The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only result in war. Hmm. And war serves no one. The people of Aru Village care little wrong. about which god is in power. Life may be tough and tiring, but we wish to preserve our way of life. A war would only cause us to lose all that we have. 
And that is not a responsibility that you can afford. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. Yeah, I guess they just got... I'll tell you everything I know. Please, just let us go. No, no, tell us first. I'm listening. Yep. Uh, you might not believe this, but it wasn't us who came up with this idea. <laughs> no, I think I believe it. Someone spreading rumors in the tavern. That's how we mm. ended up hearing about the Scarlet King's resurrection. Some mystery man okay. told us that mad scholars will make the perfect sacrifice to usher in the Scarlet King's resurrection. Uh, they give their lives, and we can get anything we wish for. Oh. They're called village keepers. Slip up again, and you'll regret it. Nice. But didn't you call them... Didn't you call them also that? Uh, yes, sorry. It was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread word about the Scarlet King's resurrection and talked us into helping him. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. Yeah, where are they now? Uh, I'm not sure. That's one. Really? Huh? One what? <laughs> Strike. Yep. You get a total of three. Then... <laughs> You die by my hand. Yeah, tell him, Sino. Also, I didn't realize Sino was so short. Wait, I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. It was all him. <sighs> you sure? Two. He yeah. got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense. We take them to a junction outside the village. Then the mystery guy takes them from there. Is that <sighs> right? That is some more info. You gotta believe me, please. I'm telling the truth, I swear. Just ask them if you don't believe me. That was indeed the truth. Okay. Traveler, go on. That's right. He's good at interrogations or te are telling if someone is lying, especially. Okay. He, um, that guy, he wears a cloak and he's always careful to cover his face. Uh, hmm. He calls himself the Scarlet King's envoy. Cloak that covers believe, his face. I may know what's going on. Ooh, go uh, ahead, Chief. Anpu. What do you mean? <laughs> hmm. What's up? What? Sino? He be <laughs> Smooth. Oh, okay. Okay, speak. Oh, nice. If my suspicions are correct, <laughs> Damn. this mystery Looks a little less. Like, what if we are just gone outside? Could be from the academia. Could have just gone outside, right? Some oh, yeah, that makes ago, sense. People from the academia attempted to take the village keepers away. I mm. refused, insisting that they are part of our community. So now they're going it to yeah, lure them. Now that this secretive character shares the same goal they had. So maybe the Tor? Does the Tor have a cloak? Which means it's highly likely that the Academia was purposely spreading a false rumor to trick the Radicals into delivering the Village Keepers right into their hands. <laughs> hmm. They were the ones who brought them here to begin with. Now they're trying to take them back? We aren't yeah, that's let that weird. Happen. Why, why do they want them? Not the academia. Because of the power character. they get? In some cities, Sataria also mentioned King Dashred's resurrection is just the academia's misinformation campaign. Just as I yep. thought. But what could they could want have with the said that before. <laughs> People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the academia. A change in their plans mm. likely means they found another way to exploit the scholars. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, our top priority now is locating the village keepers. You're right. Okay. Isak is still waiting for news on his grandpa. Time yeah. to go. Let's leave the village and try to track them down. Wow, so that story actually, it wasn't just a side quest. It actually went into, um, like it has importance for the the full story. You got it. Candace, cool. I'll let you deal with the radicals. Leave everything outside <laughs> deal the village with them. to us. All right. Let's go. Cry from the LSR hospital. Uh, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound so good. <laughs> Finally, see you again. Where I'll hit him. Well, as you can see, I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. Okay. Gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself. Yeah. Where have you been anyway? Did he go back to the academy? Hey, what's hmm. with the silence? You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. We're looking for someone with a cloak. <laughs> Do it, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, um, never mind. Paimon's got nothing. R really? You're not gonna mention one of the biggest things of his design? His cloak? Maybe? His cloak? There's just nothing super obvious to pick with this guy. Makes it so Ma hard. Maybe something in his outfit, like his cloak? Maybe? Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. 
So what? clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Okay. Anyway, you plan to leave <laughs> what was that Aru poker village face? and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? Yep. <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here. So we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. Yep, that sounds good. <sighs> Enough with the silent treatment! It's giving us time to think. Mm, no. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. Oh, Sino? All Haytham. You haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Yeah. <laughs> Bold of you to question our choices. Won't deny that. True. Yeah, you're all talk. While you were investigating, Dang. <laughs> I had my own work to do, which I've yeah. not finished. What kind of work? Luring some people outside, maybe? Paimon doesn't believe you. To be honest, we aren't really a team. So I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. Do you not? Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Like? Huh? Shoot. Right here in the village? Correct. What did okay. you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What, what does that mean? Yeah. How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? In other words, what? do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? What? Am I supposed to be realizing something? Some of them lied to us? Maybe. Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, uh, those debatable. people have their reasons. Remember what Gandis said? Okay. Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. Right? That's because whether the Scarlet King or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, mm. the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. They're saying we can find new info from someone we've already Glad spoken you're following to. Along. among those you have talked mm. to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact. She's been observing your every move since you arrived. Yeah, because she did say something about village keepers. The reason being, so maybe she was suspicious enough. Who only wants she to didn't give us any info. Peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. Sure. <gasps> those eyes, those fierce eyes. You, you look like a real fighter. Don't change the subject. Uh, that's true. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated oh, come on. by Sino's authority and... He was there all along. R right. You were asking about the... I mean, yeah. the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are Scarlet King fanatics in the village. If she sounds too mm. friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's next target. Okay. I get I it. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so no I'm wonder. not too familiar with what goes on at night. Okay, no wonder she was the only one we didn't get any info on, like, yeah, I saw them on the road, right? Like everyone else told us, like, yeah, on the side of the road, or going through the road. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement yep. in anything that occurs at night. Yep, but yep. honestly, I feel quite I hear sympathetic that. towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. Well, yeah, then she said Work that. them. My house would have collapsed long ago. Oh. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, <laughs> it's best if I stay out of this. Maybe so. We're on it! Miss Shawnee, as we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. <laughs> okay, I'll hate them. Mr. I'll hate them. I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? Huh? What mm. do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Seems so. Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? Uh, Maybe. May I call you Traveler? Sure. Hi, Miss Shani. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Shoot. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, definitely no. Why is that? Because it'll only result in conflict. That's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why mm. I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. I mean, we did just arrive, like, 
couple days ago, right? Because, I mean, the, the game has been making it a point to, like, wait until the next day, wait until the next day. So, like, at least we have an idea that time has passed, that we've spent some time here. Before, so, yeah. I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Also, this <laughs> this rope is a little weird, a little wonky. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? Well, I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best yeah. I can. We came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. But even so, right. we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends mm -hmm. in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. <sighs> hmm. Well, I didn't realize uh, the pyramid is back there. Like over here. I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Oh, he then told us you have your All right. It's okay. We understand. The fact is that I'm... Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really oh. fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Some believe in the Dendro Archon, while others believe in the Scarlet King. Oof. I don't belong to either side. And neither side would want me. Speaking of which, oh, the Radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Yeah. Mm, right. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, yeah. I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. And then it happened. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation. And I didn't dare breathe mm -hmm. a word about it to anyone. Until now. You can tell them. I'm sure he'll keep your secret. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all good. All right. I'll tell you what I told all Haytham. I actually nice. have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes... Ooh. I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Like Tainari? <laughs> Do you have big ears? Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from oh. far away in the distance and always carries very raw emotion. It used to be louder and more frequent, but ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it mm. does, it's much quieter. I have to focus Here. really hard to make it out. I confirmed oh. this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. Interesting. But because we're in the middle of a desert, he would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. Hmm. Could you make out where the sounds are coming from? Yeah, see, that area looks really cool. There's really nothing is that around where the make is? Except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar. But it's been ah, abandoned for years. There it is. We need to check out that hospital. Yeah, let's go. Cry from the LSR hospital. Okay, wait. So we're are we going to like a haunted hospital? <laughs> like, what? What is this? Scarab? Oh, beetle. Pretty cute. This is the hospital. Whoa. Seems pretty abandoned. Ooh. There are hilly here. The place? <sighs> it's in terrible shape, and there's sand everywhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Anakin. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a lot of monsters here, huh? Not expecting that. It's almost there. Oh, crap. Nice. Okay. Yeah. What were you expecting, by the way? I mean, or, you know, something like that. You always have a very active imagination, huh, Paimon? Hmm. Ooh, did we got a solve a puzzle? Super serious. We gotta stay on our A game too. <laughs> serious mode, Paimon. This is the one. Oh. Really? Activate that. Hmm. Let's go in and take a look. All right. Fully search the abandoned hospital. Oh, there are explosives right there. Be careful. At night. We have time to burn. How is he so relaxed? Look at him. 
reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this. I wouldn't say impossible. <laughs> I don't want to kill you to read a book once in a while either. <laughs> it's time to spread your wings and become learned. Hey, what good is that gonna do for you? You're acting like one of those annoying grown ups <laughs> around nagging people to focus on their studies. Well, am I wrong? The more you learn, the more money you can earn to support hey, me. Hey, what gives? Shouldn't you be the one providing for Paimon? That's what I'm doing now, yeah, exactly. Oh, right. I'm like your daddy, okay, if anything else. Um, thank you for working so hard and earning so much more, uh. If it weren't for you, oh, I'm, I I'm loaded. Be <laughs> You're welcome. In the ocean somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Aw. That was quite an earnest moment, actually. You're welcome. Okay. It's night time. Hmm? Ah, I'm on <laughs> Some Raimi transition me. again. Huh? What is all hate them? Oh. That sound? oh. It's coming from that direction. What the frick? It's from below. Oh, below. Oh, is it the scholars? Something is off about the interior here. Well, yeah, there's a giant plank. There's, a, there's probably a hole, right? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. As I thought. What the frick? There's a hidden structure. Yeah. Wow. It's like they tucked another hospital into this one. Oh, it looks is like that a hospital? there are other mechanisms around here. Yeah. Let's keep exploring. Okay, this is an interesting area. Patient Abbas, male, 23 years old, mole on the left side of the forehead and left-handed, while his condition remains very serious. Survival will be difficult without professional medical care. The patient's survivability, once found, immediately inform. Don't give up, stay positive. All, all beings are under the watchful eye of the divine, so don't ever keep up. The rest of the document has been rendered unreadable by weathering. With you. Okay, also oh, this is another part of the hospital. Were they treating more Elisar stuff? Look, oh. there's some we need to be careful. Is this a scholar? Let's approach him slowly without alarming him. Sounds good. Hi there. Wait. Who is this? They are wearing academia looking uniform. Sure. Ooh. He can't speak and his eyes are unfocused. <laughs> he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why Maybe so. is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. You know Who is him? this? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the academia. He's a scholar oh, wow. too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? <laughs> no. And that's the problem. Razak was oh. never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. So how did he become like this? Was he given one of those knowledge capsules? Leaving that question aside for the moment. Him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've uh, already taken so. everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak mm. here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. Maybe. What is that? There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Yep. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Loaded with people? That is one possibility. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry. Oh, crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. They were afraid of being caught, so... Well, no, I don't think so. I was like, maybe they were rescuing. The symptoms are identical. Looks mm. like we found living proof. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow living me to proof. drop your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Yeah? Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? The Hermite who took the knowledge capsule? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little familiar. The Ermite guy who went mad. Yeah. Now that you mention it, they're acting the same way. Correct. Guess so. The academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, mm -hmm. the academia spread a false rumor of the Scarlet King's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. Of course. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this uh, scheme has one further advantage to the academia. So, okay. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto the Scarlet King's followers. The radicals brought them in, but then the academia t took them away? Life for the desert wherever? dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's mm. death all those years ago. Beneath the surface... Feelings of desperation are widespread. 
Many okay. would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Right. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even yeah. if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of the Scarlet King and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust mm -hmm. of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's yeah. still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Th that's what I'm curious about, too. Throughout this process, one thing has changed. Or something, maybe. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. I see, I think. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find uh, someone, okay. you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Because they can use them for whatever they want. What exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could yep. be extracted into knowledge capsules. Okay, I was thinking that because, you know, they have, they have been getting help from Nahira. Extracted? You mean canned knowledge comes from people's brains? With the yeah. technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. So, mm -hmm. the human brain... No, nah, yep. Paimon doesn't want to <laughs> think about this. It's not only canned knowledge, it's canned brains, literally. <laughs> How did you learn of I'm this? I'm the Academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar mm -hmm. with their projects. Anyway, sure, judging okay. by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. Uh, Paimon's okay. a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? That can't be right. Most of the mad scholars have made contracts with their divine consciousness in the forest. That's what the academia is after. It's also safe to assume that this knowledge has something to do with the Fatui, the Doctor, and also the Belladere. They're using the Divine Knowledge Capsules to turn the Belladere into a god. The yep. look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. That's that's kind of what I was figuring. It, it, it had to be part of that plan. Because it mean it's people who have been exposed to the Divine right. Consciousness. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. Yep. However, I can't However. help but wonder... What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is well, going out of their way to look well, for forbidden kinda knowledge. Kind of know. <laughs> but what is their ultimate goal? Yeah, we haven't told them, I've right? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine Should knowledge capsule. Them? But to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. You mean hmm. you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. But I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting information okay. from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> yeah. If this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. One can only hope. Sounds like you're really against all this. Of course. Well, yeah. The academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics exactly. or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs yeah. to be corrected. Just like fixing a typo in a book. Okay. Wait, didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. <laughs> My criteria are no, a little more restrictive really. than that. I don't really care about that. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru. <laughs> and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. Well, yeah. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Hmm, your motives are more specific and you personal. You say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The divine knowledge capsule is something okay. I want to investigate in full. 
That mm -hmm. doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Though he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility, he justifies his actions because they are, they are true to his personal motivations. Someone like him might actually be ache for a better ally. Simon's been wanting to say this for a while. Hmm. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not one of them. You're their weirdo. <laughs> you're probably right. Though I yeah. must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. I'm sure you do. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Sure. Wow. That's a great way to think about it. <laughs> I was really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm yeah. just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. So what do we do with him? It won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village. Go back to the village chief house and meet up with everyone else. All right, go back there. Sorry, it lost me a little bit there at the end. I don't know exactly. It felt like we staggered for a little bit. Let's see what everyone else thinks of the information we found. We're back! Ew. You should rest and take some water. What's the situation? Hmm? Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Well, yeah. But nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. <laughs> Unfortunately, it can be the grandfather. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the Academia's site for extracting Divine Cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village, since Divine Cant mm. knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village, almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Oh, true. Why is that? Do we have someone in our ranks who's reporting to them? Huh. We may have a mole in our midst. That's what I'm saying. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Yep. Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? <laughs> Come on, Paimon. Sino? Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Care to share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? How so, yeah. Choose your next words very carefully. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying What's that? is, Sino's the mole. Emergency. <laughs> what is it? Are we voting him out? <laughs> What's say. happening? And here I thought you were the most suspicious one. I'll hate them, since you were always acting alone. Yeah, I agree. I know. You have a point, but I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino okay. isn't like any of us. What does that mean? What are you trying to say? Yeah. I still remember who you are, General Mahamatra. <laughs> oh, is he still part of it? He lied about As not being mantra, part of the gen you are no nothing to general anymore. Certain kinds of information. Before you can take action okay. against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the academia has traditionally huh. allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi. Wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against uh, you? Okay, okay, okay. So not consciously. If you want to raise a vicious wolf, mm. you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. The academia is monitoring me? That will make sense. It's not that simple. The academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special mm. protocol for dealing with you. Every so often comes Damn. in your Garbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember mm. seeing a thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. Whoa. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. I, I feel like they are now. The Akasha is capable of computation. Oh, can it predict what he's gonna do? <laughs> the Akasha's mm. algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your yeah. movements using the data entered. Whoa, that's when crazy. You depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. Oh, damn. It predicted my every move. The Academia has been watching you longer what? than you think. That's kind of crazy. So that's how it is. 
Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and huh. steadfast faith are worthless to the academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Okay, so... Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. Not wrong, yeah. <sighs> they escaped because of me. Don't blame yourself. Uh -huh. It's not like any of us would have known. Yeah, if I'll hate them new, should I just said it before? <laughs> I have an idea. If they predicted mm. my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Oh, <laughs> is he like, where would I go? <laughs> Whoa, you bounced back fast. Yeah, that There's was fast. always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is. I mm. get it now. If the academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... One step behind him? Oh. Yep, that's right. They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smarter, Paimon. Yeah, that was that was good. I didn't realize exactly what they meant. Let's go. But I like that. There's also something I want to investigate. What's up? Let's go, guys. After him. Please wait. I want to go too. Oh, hmm. Isaac. You want to go too? If so, you have what? to promise you'll stay safe. Where, where are we taking him? <laughs> I want to find Grandpa. I. I promise, mm -hmm. I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. I don't know how good of an idea this is. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. All right. Hey, let's go. Remember to pack <laughs> some food with you. Paimon feels like we're missing someone, though. Hmm. Yeah, where did Dia go? We'll continue next time the story. Uh, we've gone for quite a while. I, I don't know how long these episodes will be. I haven't edited the previous one. But uh, the story has been really interesting so far. I, I, I'm i a little confused about what I said before. The academia and the scholars. Like, uh, how does that relate to each other? The Their dynamic? Um, how are they working? Because they're not working together. At, at one point, I was like, oh, maybe they're working together. Um, even though they want to destroy each other. But, you know, they think, like, they're going to betray each other at the end or something like that. That's what I understand. I mean, while I'm editing, I'll probably be able to listen to the story a little more and catch more of that info. But with that said, let's do let's do one more wish. I think I want to do one ten times. And after that, I'll probably start saving up because I want uh, an upcoming character. So I don't think I will be doing too many more ten times or too many more wishes for that, for that matter. Let's do it. All right. Let's see how this goes. Off stream luck. Come through. Three, two, one. Let's see what we got. Give me that go. Oh my gosh, what did we get? What did we get? What? Well. Oh. <laughs> okay. I am happy with this. I am very happy with this. And then I, I hope this made a little more pity, right? Like the, the rest of the wishes. Is that how that works? Oh, let's go, Shinobu. I was hoping to get Shinobu. No Kantus, unfortunately. Uh, well, usually I don't get the character. Like I didn't get, but no, I did get Dory, actually. <laughs> I usually don't get the, the new four star in their first banner. Oh yeah, there you go. Shinobu and Sino. Yo, <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, off stream luck. Uh, but yeah, I want to do Can. I, I want to get Kantus. Because I want to build a team that is uh, like Sino, Candace, uh, I'll hate them, and Dia. I, I think I want to build that team someday. It will it will be a fun one because that's the team that we've been working on so uh, right now. And I kind of like their dynamic. Uh, I like the... Especially, I think Genshin shines the most when they put uh, a small group of people interacting with each other. Because like the Chasm mission where uh, Ito, Shinobu, Yellen, and uh, what was it? Yanfei? We're, we're together. That was really cool. That was a really, really fun quest. And uh, yeah, now we're seeing something similar of the, the characters interacting with them, with each other like that. So uh, I'm really enjoying that. I'm enjoying that we're in, it's not just the traveler. Because I feel like that could have gotten old with time. But anyway, with that said, that is a great place to end the episode. Let us, uh, let us continue next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully by next time I'll have some some of these characters build thank you so so much for watching everyone let me know how what you think of this series so far this recorded episode of genshin because <laughs> i i've really been enjoying them it's a lot of fun to play you know take things a little easier uh, than i would on stream but i still enjoy streaming so yeah like i said i'll be talking more about that through the week well i i guess i talked a lot during my one uh, one year anniversary so I think you guys are more or less caught up already. Um, so sorry if I'm <laughs> like just repeating what I said then. The, I guess the, all this to say, just thank you. Thank you for being part of uh, the channel, you know? <laughs> part of little old me, little old mine channel. <laughs>
it means a lot. So, you know, your support, it does mean so, so much. So thank you once again. I'm Aaron, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I had no idea she did that. Wow, that was a, that was a nice surprise. <laughs>